Matthew 24, Part 1, Destruction of the Temple Matthew 24 is a prophetic chapter called the Olivet Discourse. Let's take a look at this chapter and see when this occurred and to whom this prophecy was meant for. Matthew 24, verse 2, And Yeshua said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. This temple that Yeshua was speaking about was destroyed and burned down to its very foundation in the year 70 AD, roughly 40 years after Yeshua died and resurrected. It was burned down with the city of Jerusalem by the Roman army led by General Titus. We have an eyewitness testimony who is also a Romano-Jewish scholar named Josephus. He says this, It, the temple, was so thoroughly laid even with the ground by those that dug it up to the foundation that there was left nothing to make those that came thither believe it had ever been inhabited. Wars, Book 7, Chapter 1, Section 1 and 3. Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Now Yeshua was asked this, he goes on to tell them, his disciples, what signs and wonders to look out for that will occur prior to this event, so that they will know and be ready when the time is near. Yeshua starts with a warning, Matthew 24, verse 4. And Yeshua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. This was the first sign and warning, and it was already happening by the time we read the book of Acts. Acts 8, verse 9 through 10. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery, and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. Yeshua also mentions there being much turmoil and war leading to the destruction of the temple. Matthew 24, verse 6 through 7. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end, the temple destruction, is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Israel and the Roman Empire was at peace when this was spoken. But once Yeshua died and resurrected, Rome went through much turmoil and civil war, and the surrounding nations were also at war, including the Germans, Scythians, Italians, and Syrians. Josephus says this, Now as for the Jews, some of them could not believe the stories that spoke of war, but those that did believe them were in utmost distress. Let's continue reading. Matthew 24, verse 7 through 8. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And in Luke 21, 11 it says, And there shall be great earthquakes, and in diverse places famines and pestilences, and there shall be terrors and great signs from heaven. There was a great famine during the reign of Claudius Caesar, as mentioned in Acts 11:28. And there stood up one of them named Agabus, and signified by the Spirit there should be great dearth, or famine, throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Claudius ruled from 41 to 54 AD. Josephus adds this, Now of those that perished by famine in the city, the number was prodigious. Pestilence and famine come hand in hand, as Adam a. Clark explains. Pestilence are the usual attendant of famines, as the scarcity and badness of provisions generally produce epidemic disorders. There were earthquakes also, as mentioned by Adam Clark. There were several in those times to which our Lord refers, particularly one in Crete, in the reign of Claudius, one at Smyrna, one at Rome, and one in Laodicea, in the reign of Nero. Josephus describes an earthquake, and much more, in Jerusalem. Continual lightning and terrible thunders with amazing concussions and bellowing of the earth, that was an earthquake. Matthew 24, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations by my name's sake. Just with the apostles, this verse came to pass. Stephen was stoned to death, James and Paul were beheaded, Luke was hung, Mark was dragged by horses, Matthew, Philip, Peter, and Andrew were crucified, and the Christians of that time of Nero were constantly in danger of being captured, tortured, and fed to the lions for entertainment. Again, this was all prior to the destruction of the temple in 70 AD. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for it witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All the world simply denotes the known inhabited earth which was ruled by the Roman Empire. And this came to pass, as Paul states in Colossians 1, 23. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was pre preached to every creature which was under heaven. 
So to conclude, we see that this chapter was pertaining to the first century and was perfectly fulfilled just as Yeshua described it. I will be making another video, a part 2, to explain the abomination of desolation in Matthew 24. Please share, comment, and like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.